this is day one test schedule explanation i think this is visible to you these are the topics right is it visible so i think you might have prepared before coming to this session so what, firstly i will like to give you a brief introduction about the program how it is going to be executed as per the schedule we have got these topics to be covered on day wise basis and the questions may come randomly but based on mostly pyq things and second thing you will get 50 mcqs 30 mcqs are from the static component that are given in the schedule itself and 10 will be from csat the topic is also mentioned here and next current affairs that is reverse engineering model k the questions are also given to you and daily basis we have been running this program for last one month you might have known about it right next anything to say and coming to our day one schedule and it is posted in our telegram channel also i would like to give first one week for all of you uh, to get oriented for this chat okay what something is asking about the chat what is it yes audible and visible thank you yes this is what the program will contain 50 mcqs as part of it 30 mcqs from static component 10 from csat 10 from current affairs reverse engineering this care program started one month earlier okay next coming to the first mcq it is talking about Max of A and without elimination technique. So you need to go through the various fundamentals of these areas of prehistoric period and also the Indus Valley civilization. Here coming to the first statement, it is talking about Max the following: Brahmagiri, Hansi, Kolnikwa. Which of the following? I mean, how many of the above sites are correctly matched? And here you need to know how many of them are related to Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic sites. Why have we chosen such question? Because there was a question related to it previously. Here, these are Paleolithic sites. I think this is visible to you. Please go through it. Okay. Yeah, here. What are these Paleolithic sites? Here, red mark for null caves. It is given in the NCERT sixth class, and it was uh, there were previous year questions taken from this chart only. I will display the previous year questions also, which are coming from this one. And next, coming to these Paleolithic sites, Karnul caves, Hanski is also Paleolithic site, and Bimbetka, as you all know, that this is a Paleolithic site. and coming to megalithic sites this is a large stone used for burial sites that is why they are termed as megalithic site and this is marked as green and this aditya malluru brahmagiri brahmagiri is a megalithic site okay in which burial sites were built with large stones that is why they are named as megalithic lith means a stone okay simple next kolnikwa chiran mehergar gujha Kolnikwa, Chiran, Mehergar, Gujka. These are Neolithic sites in which the domestication of animals already happened, and the settled communities who followed this agriculture practice also started in these Neolithic sites. That is, those Neolithic sites are in the southern part, Halfun, Halhun, Halhun. In the southern part, Halhun, and next Mehergar, and next Kolnikwa, Mahagara, Kolnikwa, Mahagara. And next, Chira and Burjham. Burjham is located in the present-day Kashmir. It was asked in 2019. Match the following question. UPSC preliminary examination has asked this 2019 question. That is Burjham in in the form of match the following. Here, it was wrongly matched in that question in 2019 prelims. It was given as wrongly matched question. Actual matching was in this or in this sixth uh, class NCERT only clearly mentioned in the 18th page that. This Burjham contains pit houses, in which people used to dig deeper into it and dig deeper into it, and they will stay there to uh, sustain themselves from extreme temperatures. Okay, I mean extreme cold temperature, cold environment. That is why this is called. Uh, this is famous at that time. So no such uh, uh, situation was arisen in any other place. That is why it is little unique one, unique place. Okay. Next, coming to and these other areas. That is Darjeeling, one such. Settled community in the prehistoric times, that is Neolithic site, located in the northeastern part of India. That's right. Okay. So please remember all these sites and try to have this map orientation for all these IVC sites also. For every question, I'll display a map if required. Next, which among the following sites is located in a fertile plain near the Bolan Pass? Here it is very important that Mahergar. It is also second question. Why have we chosen such a question here? Because I will display the PVQs associated with it after giving this explanation. Because Mehergar is fertile plain near Bolan Pass, which is one of the most important routes to Iran, as you all know. Next means this site had many animal bones. 
okay this site was found with many animal bones and bones of wild animals such as the deer and pig and also bones of sheep goat were found what does it mean sheep goat and related to such deer pig these animals were found in prehistoric times especially in the neolithic times in the neolithic times you used to found these animals that are sheep goat it means the sheep rearing and cattle ranches were started during neolithic times itself and next deer and pig were also found in the mergar neolithic site located in the northwest northwestern part of india and which is a route to iran next they have also this is very important that mehargars were probably one of places where people learned to grow barley and wheat they raised sheep and goats for the first time in this area this is even next so neolithic people also knew about knew about cultivation of barley and wheat this is a clear testimony of settled communities who followed agricultural practices during neolithic time this is so burial from mehargars also indicates certain traits that even there may be life after death that was a belief during this mer neolithic times that is why people also bury the tools which were used by the people okay who were died before that so see other finds at mehargar include remains of square or rectangular houses each house a four or more compartments some of which may have been used for storage therefore mehargar community which is neolithic in nature prehistoric times before these early indus valley civilization also having the store houses they also cultivated barley wheat they also raised sheep and goat during that time this is very important the next thing is when people die their relatives and friends generally pay respect to them their relatives friends pay respect to them by by incorporating the beads pearls ornaments and the utensils that they have used during their burial times okay this is what people look after this one look after them perhaps in the belief that there is some form of life after death so there was a chance of religious belief even they believed that life might exist after death okay the burial is one such arrangement several burial sites have been found at mahargar next in yes next we are discussing the sixth question and previously we i have discussed about five questions it seems and don't worry about them and i will upload it after recording next sixth question is talking about most harappan sites are located in semi arid lands yes it is true but traces of canals have been found in different harappan sites in regions of afghanistan punjab sind no actually the canals silted up long ago and first point and second they were dependent on wells okay and from wells they used to draw the water for the irrigation purpose and at the same time besides water reservoirs were found in gujarat may have been used to store water for agriculture and it was not found in other parts which were found traces of canals have been found at harappan sites of shotugai in afghanistan but not in punjab and sind only found in shotugai shotugai that is located in afghanistan okay remember this this basic facts and next coming to Uh, this seventh question it seems yes the harappan culture belongs to bronze age and bronze tools are not prolific to it because it is not abundant because they had to import this copper from khetri mines of rajasthan and tin from tin baluchistan tin from baluchistan and this alloy of copper and tin was used to bring this bronze okay and next coming to this bronze was used to produce images utensils various tools and weapons that is fine okay so bronze tools were not prolific in it because lack of abundance in that region they used to import from other parts okay and here tin was probably brought differently from afghanistan although old workings are stated to have been found in hazaribagh in bihar as well and khetri from rajasthan and tin and also from parts of baluchistan as well and coming to this one they produce not only images and utensils but various tools as well here spin and one more thing they had produced cotton and wool this is also very important here a piece of woven cotton has been recorded from mohenjodaro mohenjodaro and textile impressions found on several objects textile and here spindle wools were used for spinning that weavers wove cloth of wool okay and cotton wool and cotton huge brick structures suggest that brick laying was an important craft in the time 
okay they also attach the existence of the class so when rich class used to have this woven clothes i mean highly thinly and typically woven clothes this one and thickly and thin so cotton was used for the generally semi arid regions most of the times used used to be preferred next which one of the following is at the most distinctive artifacts of the harappan civilization here shaded seal next bricks of a standardized ratio that is fine and third third one is about yes gold bangles next silver spittoons no no that is good that you are observation is good that you had prepared properly right uh, next one is harappan seal is possibly most distinctive artifact and here made of a stone called steatite and here ornaments are tools and seals they are left behind their houses mostly and here archaeological evidence is also showing that know about the art harappan civilization and we will explore how archaeological material is interpreted also so next coming to this is a capf question which was asked in 2020 upsc next which one of the following statement about the harappan script is not correct harappan script is not correct it has about 400 signs yes around 375 to 400 signs the harappan script contained and next it was written from right to left yes right to left left to right that is fine mostly from right to left next it has been found on bone rods and jewelry that is also true that the joint bones which were also helping them to write something in the form of symbols next it refers to the people of meluha this script doesn't refer to the people of meluha usually the people of mesopotamia called as meluha call this mesopotamian harappan people as meluha yeah this is an enigmatic script yes harappan seals usually have line of writing probably containing name and title of the owner and here yes, scholars have also suggested that motifs okay conveyed a meaning to those who could not read and they have contained various things next most inscriptions are short longish containing about 26 signs but it has too many signs somewhere 375 to 400 and next it is apparent that the script was written from right to left and here variety of objects on which writing has been found the various objects are also found seals copper tools and next rings of jars cup and next terracotta tablets jewelry bone rods these were also found on the signs of the harappan script next yes even yes sign board remember there may have been writing on perishable material too there not only this is important next fourth statement the mesopotamian text mentioned about this region yeah from bahrain it was named dilman probably the island of bahrain okay the island of bahrain was called as dilman dilman by mesopotamian people and megan meluha possibly the harappan region megan and meluha was the name term to or refers to harappan region which was actually iterated by those mesopotamia people and it is also in upsc cap of 20 question so this these have to be observed little keenly next various causes have been suggested for the decline of harappan culture consider the causes mentioned below and identify weakest of them here due to you need to uh, find the weakest cause okay weakest cause here main most relevant one among the relevant one you need to choose next due to constant incidents of naturally occurring for occurring floods the harappan was declined is it true due to increase is it having more weight as compared to others that is important here you need to choose a most probable option or less probable option among the all the probable options here due to constant incidents of naturally naturally occurring floods this is next due to increase on the salinity of the soil fertility decreased there next earthquakes caused changes in the course of the indus which led to inundation aryans invaded and destroyed the harappan culture it was a, yes it was a weakest argument given in arish sharma old ncert at the same time question was asked in upsc cap of 2013 here you need to understand two things that aryan invasion theory was denounced by upsc itself in, to, it, in its pvq 2013 
that is more important. We no need to see other scholars. We have to see the, our scholar. Our scholar is UPSC PVQ. In its UPSC PVQ 2013, it clearly said that Aryan theory was not a yeah, strong argument. It was most weakest argument, irrespective of various arguments put forth by other scholars. Next, the prevalence of grain in Harappan sites indicated that the prevalence of grains in Harappan sites indicated that agriculture was prevalent in Harappan sites. Here, one more he, one thing is important that you need to understand how plosure has been discovered in that region, but the furrows discovered in the pre Harappan phase at Kalibanga. Yeah, Kaliban. And show that the fields were plowed in Rajasthan in the Harappan period. And one more thing, Harappans probably used the wooden plowshare. No metal plowshare was used at, at that time. Next, we do not know whether the plow was drawn by men or oxen, but it was, it might be used by men or it was drawn by oxen itself. Next, stone sickles may have been used for harvesting the crops. They, and they are enclosed by dams. Those dams are named as garabans or nalas. Nalas are garabans are enclosing dams around the harvesting crops, right? Around these harvesting crops, you build certain uh, dam structures. They, they, the structures were named as garabans and nalas. And next, wheat, barley, peas. Okay, these are important next, uh, seasonum, mustard are also found in Harappan sites. Please remember this, season, yeah, seasonum, yes, as early, yes, that is important, as early as 1800 BC, people of Lothal used rice, 1800 BC itself, people used rice. Next, whose remains have been found in food grains were stored in huge granaries in both Mohanjadaro and Harappa and possibly in Kalibangan. Next, cereals were received as taxes from peasants and stored in granary for payment of wages. This probably, probably this was not a clear evidence, but there may be a possibility of collection of tax. That was not clear. That is also important. The Indus people were the earliest people to produce cotton. This is very important. Hmm. Ah, and Yes, yes, very nice. Rangapur. One more thing. Here, Greeks called this early produced cotton from, from Indus as Sind, Sindan, Sindan. That is Sindan because it was produced by uh, Sind, Sind region, produced in the Sind region. That is important. Next, this is a cylindrical scene typical of Mesopotamia, but the harmful bull motif on it appears to be derived from the Indus region. That is important. Here the cylindrical stone seals were used in which of the civilization that is Mesopotamian. Here Delhi, you can find, find the similarity in that region because in the Mesopotamian region they have also used this harmful bull, okay? the cylindrical seal. They used seals, the pictographic representation was more or less akin to the IVC. Question was previously asked in UPSC NDA in 2016 and one more thing. UPSC in 2016 itself, it has uh, 15 it seems, it has asked Harappan civilization and its comparison with contemporary ancient civilizations, Mesopotamia, Egypt, okay, in mains exam as well. So, if you find the prelims, you will find the themes for your mains as well. So, which among the following Harappan sites are located in Gujarat? This is also important. Yes. Rozdi, Rangapur, Desalpur, all are asked because UPSC here in PYQ in 2019 civil service examination, it has asked that Chandwara, Kodiji, Desalpur. So, yeah. Yes, it is not a Harappa site, Shogura. Here the Harappa sites were Desalpur, Dolvira, Nageshwar, Rangapur, Rozdi, Lothal, Man, these are very important. Next. Amri already I have told you in one, one of the questions that previously. Amri. Next. Consider the following statements with regard to Chalcolithic culture in India. Chalcolithic means the bronze which was an alloy of other metals, the tin and copper. Okay. And next, 
the charcoalitic people were generally not acquainted with burnt bricks and they were they never used it so people were generally not acquainted with burnt bricks this charcoalitic people and they never used it it is absolutely a wrong statement next the charcoalitic economy was a village economy hmm. it was it might be a possibility yes there out of 250 sites only six sites were cities okay fine okay you had that assumption let me give you clarity out of this old ncert reference book next like harappan charcoalitic people venerated mother goddess charcoalitic people were the first to paint their pottery okay let's see were generally not acquainted with burnt bricks which were seldom used not never used means not frequently used is different from never used okay uh, not acquainted with burnt bricks but it was seldom used it was seldom used so freak not frequently used okay it is quite different quite different from never used okay and occasionally their houses were made of mud bricks occasionally their houses were made of mud bricks but mostly these were constructed with wattle and daub and seem to have been thatched houses okay that and next at inamgaon in the earlier charcoalite phase in western maharashtra ninamgaon it is located beside ravara one of the tributaries of the godavari in the maharashtra region in the inamgaon so in the western maharashtra large mud houses with ovens and circular pit houses have been discovered so in this later phase we have a house with five rooms four rectangular and one circular such kind of, so it is uh, important to know that and second statement is actually here talking about correct one second statement is telling that so is it charcoalitic the charcoalitic economy therefore was a village economy okay here settlements became stable and widespread in this phase and they had followed jorve culture jorve culture which was a village in the maharashtra yeah jorve and one more thing the jorve culture actually located beside which region which in which region which river godavari tributary pravara uh, they had a settled community settled agricultural practices and domestication of animals that culture was named as the named after a village that is jorve okay jorve culture so this was type city provided by jorve a village situated pravara river a good number of sites possess the traits of jorve culture every jorve village here what is this village culture 35 to 40 houses as settled community who follow the agriculture who practices agriculture and at the same time they have circular and rectangular shape of this arrangement a settlement especially the houses even the store houses and everything the charcoalitic economy there was it was named as village economy some settlement such as inamgaon at aran and kaite in central are also there in the part here we can form some ideas about the burial practices also religious practices and the belief systems because there might be a belief that life after death okay the pills the utensils that they have used were buried along with their dead body during this so they did not use separate cemeteries and at the same time it is important that cemeteries means the burials sites okay and any kind of i mean dead uh, setup of this burying the dead body likewise that is named as cemeteries for this purpose they did not use separate cemeteries for this purpose as was the case with harappan so we can form some ideas about this religious cults of these people and as this few sometimes you will find that in later question and uh, different shapes for different shapes were used for adults and children okay uh, and also to uh, um, to ascertain their presence here they used to cut down the legs and bury them underneath the house that is also a culture practice in this burial sites okay so this was a belief system pots and some copper objects were deposited in the graves okay terracotta figures of women suggest that charcoalitic people venerated the mother goddess charcoalitic people venerated mother goddess and they followed village culture it was mostly jorve culture 
settled communities who followed agriculture, practiced it and also they cultivated our wheat, barley, rice, everything and domesticated animals. So this doorway culture was named after the village located in exactly beside Bravara, a tributary of Godhavari. And fourth statement was one such PYQ question was previously asked in UPC CDS in 2012. Hey, who among the following concepts were the first to paint their pottery? That was Chalkoliti. Okay. So you might be wrong, it seems, in terms of assumption. Please go through these PYQ, therefore, you will get full clarity. The Harappa site showing evidence of two cultural phases pre Harappan, Harappan. Here, Banwali. What Kalibangan? Banwali. Both had shown these two cultural phases, Harappan and pre Harappan phase. So, 250 Harappan sites are located, out of which only 6 were large cities, as 6 cities were located in Punjab and Sindh districts, respectively the Harappa and Mohenjadaro. Okay, Harappa, Mohenjadaro. Next, later, two more cities. They were Kalibangan and Banwali and they had witnessed these both cities. And one more thing, Le mature phase and later phase, Harappan sites. Mature phase sites are Surka Jindar and Surka Toda. And next, later phase, Harappan phase contains Rangapur and Rosdi located in Kathiawar Peninsula of Gujarat. Next, consider the following phase. Bull seal, one is Mohanjadaro. Next, Dolvira, an inscription campaign, uh, com comprising 10 large size signs of Harappan script. Next, Kalibangan plow field, Banwali terracotta replica of plow. So, all the above are correctly matched, there is no doubt about it. It is self explanatory and easy because to give you that note making possibility, right, out of this question. Next, which among the following statements are not related to this doorway culture? Here, Prabhara Godavari Valley was the nuclear zone of this Jorve culture, that is true. Next, the main sites of Jorve culture are Daimabad, Inamgon, Jorve, Nevasa. Are you true? Yes. At Daimabad, one gets archaeological evidence of symbolic burial. Next, fourth statement. Practically all Jorve, practically all Jorve settlements in the north Deccan were suddenly deserted. So, you said it was true statement, but it was wrong. I uh, will hear there is an explanation. Okay. Yes, Prabhara Godavari valleys seem to have been nuclear zone of this culture. Jorve culture first discovered in the Jorve village, okay, located in Maharashtra. And next, and even, but it was not located, in, I mean, it was this culture was not spread to. Konkan district. Okay. And next thing, the main excavated sites are Daimabad, Inamgon, Tyr, Songon, Chandoli, Bahal, Prakash, Jorve, Nevasa. Please directly mark it up <laughs> because it is given here in the Upender Singh book. We have taken it from Upender Singh. There were many questions asked from it. Hmm. Next thing is 1000 BC. Practically, all Jorve settlements in northern Deccan were suddenly deserted. It was also a true statement. Suddenly deserted practically. Although one at Imamgon, only one at Imamgon continued till 700 BC. Next, one theory is that the settlement were abandoned because of increasing aridity. Why such sudden desert happened? Because of increased aridity in that region. And which may have led to food scarcity. On other hand, the evidence of burnt structure point to some other sort of disaster. Okay, at Ima Inamgon, the small huts and coarse pottery at late Jorve levels contrast sharply with the spacious homes and fine pottery of the early Jorve phase. And next, why third statement is incorrect? You need to remember this one. Other three statements are correct. You might have confused with the fourth statement. Sudden desert thing, desertification of the Jorve culture might be considered to be a wrong statement. Okay, that is why I have explained the fourth statement. And coming to third statement, you consider it as a right statement, but it is wrong statement. Why it is? Here, a Jorve culture sites, adults were usually buried in an extended position and children in urns placed horizontally mouth to mouth. Here, urn means a symmetry place, I mean ashes of symmetry were 
actually put in a kind of vessel that is wool, a vessel shape substance which may contain ashes of dead material right dead matter. So, next wounds place horizon for so they were different shapes for these burial sites uh, for adults and children respectively. So, next burial pits were dug into the house floors in this survey culture regions next occasionally in the courtyards occasionally in the courtyards next an unusual feature was that in case of adults the feet were deliberately cut off in case of already I had told you that in case of yes adults they deliberately cut off these legs and perhaps to keep the spirit of this deceased within the house I have told you yes to continue the spirit of their presence in that re place in the house underneath this house they dug and make it a burial site. Next at Inamgon there was a curious un burial in the courtyard of the large fry room house occasionally they will bury it in the courtyards. Next consider the following statements here we learn to grains found at Harappan sites include wheat, barley, lentil, chickpea and season I told you mustard, season, grain, barley, wheat, lentil, chickpea, cotton ok this uh, first produce rice was abundantly found in different Harappan sites it was found but not abundantly yes even not prolific one that is bronze bronze was found but not abundant rice was found but not abundant this is also important so millets were found from different Harappan sites in Gujarat ok so next second statement was incorrect mature Harappan culture developed some of the areas occupied early Harappan culture and these cultures found that uh, what do you call millets are found from Gujarat and Harappan sites wheat, barley, little, lentil, chickpea, season already I told you and finds of rice are relatively rare, finds of rice are relatively rare. Animal bones found at Harappan sites include those of cattle, sheep, goat, buffalo and pig this is also important cattle sheep goat buffalo and pig next bones of wild species such as boar deer gharial are also found in this region please remember gharial was also given in the ncrt themes part 1 okay okay good such value addition have to has to be done apart from this that is why we have to mention that 360 degrees analysis of each of the statements given in the test series is very important to uh, yes to make yourself acclimatized with the any kind of panicking paper in the original exam. So next at which one of the following places are cave paintings of pre prehistoric times found? Yes, Vimbetka it is very simple question. Next coming to this one Vimbetka this was a picture given in the NCRT in the book itself question because asked in UPSC exam that is why we have taken it and but you need to dig little deeper into it you need to analyze. next which among the following because I am finding the themes for each question is a theme you need to analyze it in 360 degrees it will take only 5 minutes for you to google it and understand from authentic sources and which among the following were the shell based production centers of the IVC the Balakot and Nageshwar as you told because yes very good Balakot and Nageshwar. Nageshwar and Balakot if you look at on map 1 already I have told you there there was map ok. These were specialized centers for making shell objects because bangles even not only this one shell objects but also includes bangles, I mean little ladles and English something else ok. These are ornaments related one and it is very important because map 1 we notice both settlements are near to the coast that is where shell objects are found in this Nageshwar and Balakot region. Nageshwar Balakot located in? Huh. Uh, just now I have showed you the map in the second question itself. Second question itself I have showed you the map please go through it I will upload this pdf ok. Once, uh, now I tell you just you will review just directly eliminated ok no problem. So which was the following statement here? Hmm? Which was the following statements which describes the Paleolithic age? Pa yes, 
Paleolithic time? Settled communities, do you see Paleolithic times? No. Next, it witnessed intervention of writing systems and next, rise of urban civilization, not at all possible. Next, it marked the emergence of metal tools, these are the gifted questions sometimes. Okay, the establishment of long distance trade. Next, it was characterized by the use of stone tools and hunting gathering way of life. And Bimbekya was showing such sign because it will belong to Paleolithic time. And other things you need to you no need to understand about it because the Stone Age people had the first domestication of sheep. Yeah, sheep. Sheep because it was PYQ given by UPSC. It has asked about asses, dogs, horses, and sheep. So first domesticated animal was sheep as per UPSC. Okay. Uh. Yeah, Stone Age people. No. Prehistoric. Yeah. Yes. So Stone Age people, that means prehistoric times, the first animal that was raised, domesticated was sheep, simply. As per UPC. And not only UPC, NCRT also given it. Okay, irrespective of other findings, we have to rely on it. Next, which among the following statements are not correct? Dog, sheep were domesticated by early humans in the Paleolithic period. No. Next, people of Paleolithic, Mesolithic ages participated painting. That is true. Bimbetka is such an example. Next, during New Stone Age, people of Burjaham used coarse grey pottery. Actually, it is asking about incorrect one. Already, first statement is incorrect. Another three will be definitely right. And Paleolithic tools dating back to 10,000 BC was found from Karnal district in Andhra Pradesh. In the first question itself, the map was showing that uh, Hansgi, Hansgi. Yes, Hansgi. Next one. Hansgi, this one, Karnul caves and Bimbetka, these belong to Paleolithic sites, right? The map itself. Yes, Neolithic period is not characterized by Neolithic. Agriculture is characterized by Neolithic. Use of copper, domestication of animals and fishing. It was P by Q. A simple question in 1980, 40 years ago, UPS has asked. Okay. Very simple question. You confused. <laughs> okay. So very next. Man passed from the food gathering stage of food producing from food gathering to food producing stage. In which time? Neolithic age. Now okay, this is fine. This is easy. Next. These were previous year questions, that is why I am displaying simple, simple questions. Nowadays, the questions will be twisted, but the themes are same. Next, towards the end of the Neolithic period, began to use of, use of this metal. Which among the following was the first metal to be used in India? Okay, the metal to be first used first was copper, and next. Several cultures were used on the use of stone, copper implements and such as cultures called Chalcolithic. Here, it is very simple that without copper, there is no Chalcolith. Because it is an alloy of copper and tin, right? Uh, so, major settlements belonging to this phase are Ahar and Gulin in Rajasthan, Malwa, Kaita and Iran in Madhya Pradesh. Other major settlements belonging to which phase? Neolithic period. They are named Ahar, Gulin, Malwa, Kaita, Iran. Next, consider the following pairs of Chalcolithic sites and corresponding river valleys. Jorve, Godavari, not Ganga. This is beside Bravara, one of the tributaries. Next, Chandaro, Indus, Koshami, actually Ganga. It was given Ulta Palta. So, so Koregan, Bhima, that is fine. Okay, only two pairs are correctly matched. So, every Question contains four questions, four sub questions. Each pair is a question itself. Initially, we had an option to eliminate. If you know one pair is incorrect, the other pairs may be drawn. Okay. Here you know you need to know every pair. Next, consider the following statements with respect to Stone Age in India. Paleolithic age in India is characterized by the use of more stone tools. Neolithic age in India witnessed the emergence of agriculture and domestication of animals. Next, Neolithic is fine and Paleolithic is crude stone. Yes, that is true. 
and mesolithic witness the transition of early humans from a nomadic lifestyle to settled community yes that is a transition in the mesolithic time from nomadic life to settled community next stone copper phase in india refers to the period when copper tools replaced stone tools stone copper phase in india refers to is it true only first three statements are correct okay yes fourth one is correct wrong wrong one towards the end of the neolithic period began using these metals uh, making beginning of stone copper phase that is one you have to remember okay next consider the following statements harappan culture belongs to the bronze age is it true next harappa the copper was imported by harappans from afghanistan Very good, Khetri from Rajasthan. You heard him. Next, Harappan source tin from Khetri mines of Rajasthan. Uh, and other regions, I mean, um, Afghanistan, also Afghanistan. Next, Harappans did not use metallic money. Bar the system. One and four. Bronze was made by mixing tin with copper, and some, uh, since none of the metals was easily available to them. Therefore, they had to rely on Harappan. Bronze tools are not prolific in Harappa. They had to obtain it from Rajasthan with respect to copper, and tin was obtained from Afghanistan. Here they have mentioned it was given ulta here. No, no, no. Ulta. Yes. Good. So next. Metals known to Indus Valley people were here. UPSC confirmed in 1987 that iron was not known to these fellows, IVC people. That is clear. 1987. I am giving you clarity. Harappans did not know the use of iron. They have clearly told several times. 1990 also 1987. After that, various archaeologists might have found different things regarding hearts, regarding iron, something else they have mentioned. In Sutka Jandar, you have found hearts and bones, something. Okay. Arguments may be there with respect to those scholars. Right, yeah. But with respect to our UPSC, it is very clear that we have not found it. Next. Which among the following statements regarding the trade and commerce of the Harpon civilization is are incorrect? Trade and commerce. Next, trade was primarily conducted through land routes as Harappans were unaware of boats and ships, it is absolutely incorrect one. Okay, they were aware of boats and ships. Harappan carried out trade with neighboring areas by boats and bullock carts and they practiced navigation on the coast of Arabian Sea and they knew the use of wheels, carts with solid wheels were also used in Harappan times and seal featuring Harappan boat. This is a one such great example, it is very easy. The seal is containing boat. So, IVC was spread over Baluchistan, Sindh, Punjab, Rajasthan. Next, this was one such PBQ. And statement one, Harappas invented art of writing like the people of ancient Mesopotamia. The social and cultural life of Indus Valley civilization came to light when Sir Alexander Cunningham deciphered the Indus script. Is it true? See, see, just have some simple common sense that still now is Harappan script deciphered? No, it was only found. There is. So, he came to light, it came to light by Alexander Cunningham, that is fine, but it was not deciphered by him. So, statement 2 is absolutely a wrong statement. So, and just now I have told you that Mesopotamia had contained a seal in which it had hampered bull. There was a similarity between Harappa and Mesopotamia in various facets. So, it is very clear that statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is incorrect. And means, although the earliest specimen of Harappan script was noticed in 19, 1853 by this Alexander Cunningham, who was founder and director of Archaeological Survey of India in 1853, but it was not deciphered by him, not only by him, but also others. <laughs> Next, there are PYQs. In the ancient period of Indian history, urbanization was followed by pastoral life. Preceded by or followed by? 
yes they both are they both are in coherence only actually because out of 250 sites six are large cities and others are following pastoral life and so few pastoral lives and sometimes domestication of animals next the happen culture was an urban yes but both are not related actually hmm. Yes, yes, because because is substantiation of the given first statement, because a kind of reasoning one. This should consider the following pairs of Indus Valley sites and their key features. Consider the following pairs of Indus Valley sites and their key features. Here, Lothal, Dolvira, Harappa, and something. Only two pairs correct because they are talking about here Mohenjo-daro. It is not first Indus Valley site to be discovered. Harappa was the first one. Mohanjadaro was the second one. And next coming to Mohanjadaro contains this great path. Okay, it is not related to sea. And Lothal dockyard is fine. Dolvira water harvesting systems existed there. That is fine. Yes. Yes. Next coming to answer the given one. This is a PYQ one. 2002, they have asked about Lothal, Kalibangan, Dolvira, Banwali. So, this is PYQ question. <coughs> Next, elephants were well known to the Harpans. Pashupati seal depicts animals such as tiger, rhino, buffalo, and elephant. So, it is very clear that elephants were well known to Harpans. Okay? This is substantiation, this is giving a proper reason to it. Here, Harpans contain the seals. In which depicting, in which buffalo, tiger, elephant. Therefore, this reasoning, this reason is related to that accepted say, statement. Uh, red TB. Okay. Okay. Rhino, elephant, deer, red, tiger, buffalo. So red TB. So red TB means uh, rhino. Elephant, deer, tiger, buffalo. Okay, that's good. Evidence suggests that Harappans domesticated oxen, buffalo, goat, sheep, asses, camels, and pigs. Camels were also known to them. Pigs. Next, elephants were well known to Harappans, as evident from various seals. Pashupati seal, animals like as you said, red TB. Next, animals were not found. The Yes, cow was not found in Harpan times. You please remember this. This was declared by UPSC in 2001 PYQ. Cow was not found by Harpans. Okay, so this is clear. And uh, remaining one is already it is uploaded in our YouTube channel that those 10 MCQs of what do you call C set. C set questions are uploaded and care questions will be also be uploaded. Okay. Yeah, already uploaded. It is uploaded in our YouTube channel. Please go through those 10 MCQs explanation part. Okay. Uh, the faculty may also come after some time because she is busy in Hyderabad now. Okay. I think this session would have helped you. Video is not clear. I have muted everybody it seems. Okay, right now, now, thank you. Do you have any doubt, online students? This document will be posted and uploaded in our KPA's Delhi channel, Telegram channel. You close, please go through that channel. Okay, I will upload it now. All the best and thank you. This, the first one week, I will be giving it to you uh, for all the aspirants to showcase how this content will help you. Later, you the students who join this course will access to this one. However, CSAT and CARE will be given to you in our YouTube channel and our Telegram channel uh, directly. But remaining questions related to prelims and mains explanation part, everything will be uploaded in our app only, KPSR UPSC, KPSR app. The name app is KPSR. Students who are interested, 
can purchase it one. Okay, all the best.